Hey everybody, I am back doing critiques and for the first one I decided I'm going to do the shop turn yourself anime. Um, so I have a few things that I'm going to go over that I think will help everybody and a few things a little bit more specific for this niche. Um, this is a really interesting niche for um, animators and um, artists and painters that I think uh, will apply to a lot of people that you'll find interesting. So. Let me go ahead and dive in and I'll try to be as efficient as possible to, you know, hopefully this won't drag out for 20 minutes, but it might. Um, anyways, so let's go ahead and dive in. Um, as you can see, this, um, this shop, this, this artist, Carl, um, is, has started in 2020 and has already had 26 sales. So that's partially why I picked this shop is that he's, he's already had pretty immediate success. Um, so seeing somebody who is already kind of doing okay, um, I just want to help him polish up a little bit and to be able to get his shop doing a little bit better and hopefully, um, you know, can get to a point to blow up to a little bit bigger and, you know, maybe he can make this like more of a full-time opportunity. Um, one of the first things that I wanted to that, you know, might be glaring to a lot of people um, that I don't know a lot about, but maybe somebody can chime in in the um, comments below, um, is the, this could be breaching some copyright territory with Dragon Ball Z. Um, I don't know a lot about this, and I don't know if maybe some of the keywords might need to get adjusted, um, and I don't know if, you know, using Goku, Vegeta, and some of the character names might be breaching on some of that territory or if simply taking out Dragon Ball Z would be sufficient, um, or if we need to be super safe and remove all of that proprietary information um, that belongs to the Dragon Ball Z franchise. Um, I don't know enough information about that to give you clear, clear advice on what to do. Um, how, however, it could be fine, maybe not, maybe somebody can chime in, in in the comments below to give you a little bit more clear information. But anyways, assuming that everything is okay, um, I'll go ahead and critique it as is to hopefully help everybody else who's, you know, who's watching this for advice for their own shop. Um, one of the main things that I think I've mentioned in other shops before is here in your shop owner picture, I like to see your actual face. Um, I like to see that this is made by an actual human and who that human actually is. Um, but this could be an interesting opportunity to show off your drawing skills and perhaps do a drawing of your face yourself, but a little bit more, you know, something along the lines of this is what you look like. Um, maybe make this your face, but happy and smiling like this person here, you know, something like that could be really cute. Um, but I, I like, I like showing just your artwork in this picture over here. Um, so let me see the next thing some of the keywords I think could use a little bit of work um, you're missing out on a lot of search terms um, for the title so one of the things that I looked up was your competitors so the top people if you look at anime custom portrait here just searching into the Etsy search bar you can go to some of the top I'm skipping the ad bar and going to the top organic searches and as you can see people are using these long tail keywords anime portrait comma custom portrait comma family portrait comma anime gift for her cartoon portrait so these are the kind of keywords and I know this looks a little sloppy but this is kind of how the Etsy algorithm works and all of these are keywords that are relevant to your niche and these are how people are going to find you. So people are going to be typing this information into the keyword bar and you are going to pop up and they're going to click you. So people that are typing in cartoon portrait are not finding you right now because you don't use that in your title um, and in your key. And I would also have that match your tags. Let me see if you can still see tags below. So here's your tags. So you have custom portrait as your tag and you have Dragon Ball Z and this sort of information. Um, but you want, you want your tags to be more of these long tail keywords. One of the tools that I use um, to, one of the main tools you should use is looking at your competitors like I just did here. 
And here's another competitor. These are so, so, sort of similar. This person's not using commas, which is okay, but it looks, it's harder to read. Um, you use, look at your competitor. You can also use Marmalade. Marmalade's a great tool where you can type in, um, type in some of this information, some of your keywords, and then it'll give you similar keywords to look up down here. So if you type in cartoon portrait, it might recommend custom portrait, for example, or personalized gift or family portrait. And all of those are related. And then it gives you more information um, about the searches and the engagement and the competition. So whether, whether or not this might be a good keyword to, to dive into. These I've hand selected as good keywords. They all have a lot of competition. This cartoon portrait's a little bit better. Um, so these are going to be hard niches to tap into as a new artist, but there's a lot of engagement, a lot of searches. So you might have some success if your artwork is uh, pretty high quality, like I, I think your, your artwork is here. Um, one of the things that I think that I noticed that I, let me go back to your page real quick, that I think a niche that you should dive into is the custom pet portrait niche which is blowing up on Etsy. I noticed you have a couple pets here. I would include a listing that's custom pet portrait or Dragon Ball Z pet portrait and I was looking at some of the characters, the animals in Dragon Ball Z that you could utilize the aesthetic perhaps um, for doing custom cat portraits for example. You could do this sort of aesthetic and have you know a few listings that are similar to your human um, wedding gift sort of things but um, but anyways, I would do a whole listing around that, and I think you could um, increase your revenue and increase y y your traffic by tapping into that niche. Um, let me see what else. Oh, one more thing that I think you should consider doing is there's not a lot of listings on your main page. Um, one thing that you could do immediately is split up your characters into different listings. So you could have, you know, the, the Vegeta listing, which you kind of already do. You have your Vegeta listing, your, um, your Goku listing, your Gohan listing, and then have it like pretty obvious as the main picture that, oh, if I order this listing, it'll be me as Goku. If I order this listing, it'll be me as whoever. Um, and then when you click it and you go in there, you can have all of the customized options, which I love, love, love that you have it super user friendly, however many Saiyans you want, and you have your instructions. This is done really, really well. You have easy ordering process. Um, it basically, you're so customer user friendly, like you could type anything into the note box and you're happy to accommodate your customers. I love, love, love that. However, you need to make it as obvious as possible in the first click so they know what's going on. Because for me right now, I kind of am not sure what I'm purchasing. Is it because I feel like I'm purchasing this exact painting, but my face put in here, for example. Um, I think this is th this one is an excellent representation of what I think the shop should probably look like. This one and this one here, the chibi. Um, having a lot of these so it's like maybe you could have even a hundred listings um, broken down of like I would look like this character in this style or this character in this style for example so Whew, long winded I'm sorry I'm talking a million miles an hour but um, I hope that gave you a few little directions to go um, maybe have your shop description filled out so there's a little bit more information up here and the shop banner there's no shop banner maybe do an art um, do a put one of these paintings, this awesome painting here, as your shop banner or something like that to make it a little bit prettier. Um, but other than that, I think you're on the right track. Um, I'll go ahead and give your shop a favorite. <laughs> Anyways, um, good job. Uh, thanks for watching my critique, guys. Um, if anyone wants to have their shop critiqued, I have a uh, critique video call for entry to search. Um, in my YouTube channel for call for entry and you can comment on that video and that is where I am looking for shops to critique and I am doing these for free and I'm happy to do them so hope everyone is staying healthy and away from the COVID-19 and hope everyone is um, doing a good job all right bye guys